I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live. Yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say we cost him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya. The one thing she treasured in their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. So Odin and Freya could have been happy. But he only wanted her magic? Aye. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants. Well, if things work according to plan. <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. I hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, I haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine! Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready.
on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. Huh, who's the Guardian? I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us! The first time we met the World Serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder! But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... 
What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Baldur was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. No. We do it together. Son. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. Giants called me... Loki? Loki? 
That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. This year? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. And we missed it. if you want to go home, but maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? I should warn you. More time has passed than you want to realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Balder has become something else. The stuff of Hormans. For the coming of winter. Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok? From snow? Aye. Snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. Oh, man. The tower ate the unity stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes, that's a terrible pity. Okay. Tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. 
every potential pocket of resistance he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. What's that? The bomb! 